Shalom, call Halal, Yahawa, Bahasham, Yahawa Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash, the Ba'anas to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalawam, to the Akiam and to the Akwath, that'll be your brothers and sisters, Adawan Rataza, that is to say, Lord willing. Hopefully by the end of the, this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad from the GMS Miami camp. Back again with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, to feed the lambs of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. And this lesson is going to be entitled to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai. These are some evil times. Okay. Once again, the title for the lesson is These are some evil times. Okay, now the word evil is a compound word. When you break it down, it means bad time. Okay, all right. Uh, uh, ill, uh, Eve meaning time, and ill meaning bad. All right, bad times. So the times that we're in right now, all right, it's some um, some evil times, man. Um, when you go into the scriptures, even from the, the very beginning of the book, okay, the scriptures tell you how uh, there is no new thing under the sun. Okay. Uh, when you go to Genesis, the reason why we had the first death, which was the flood, when the Lord uh, flood the earth, all right, it was because of the wickedness, the evil that came upon the earth, okay? Um, the Lord say he, he, he going to bring judgment, man, but he found Noah to be a, 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 a righteous man, so he, he saved Noah and his household, all right? Noah, his wife, and his uh, three sons and their wives, okay? So they were the elect of that time. But it was it was a wicked time, and it was it was an evil time, all right? And the times that we're in right now are some evil times, all right? This is, uh, um, real quick, this is uh, the book of uh, Genesis, I don't know why I got a pop up here. Something pop up on my my app. Let me go back to it. Genesis chapter six, verse five. It says, "And the Most High saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth." And this is from ancient times, man. This is in the book of Genesis. And the Most High saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart. All right, meaning his mind. The Hebrew word for heart is lab, which means your mind. All right? It says, and that every imagination of the thought, thoughts of his heart, was only evil continually. All right? It was evil continually, man. That was, that's what was going on back then in those times. It says, verse 6, and it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth, and, he, and it grieved him out of his heart. And the Lord said, I will destroy a man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, and the creeping thing, and the fowls of the air, for it repented me that I have made them. Okay? So, like I said, as the scriptures say, there is no new thing under the sun. Even to this very time that we're in right now, okay, uh, that's what's happening, man. Okay? We're living in, in evil times, man. Bad times. The scriptures tell you how, uh, let's get it, this is prophesied to happen. Uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 1, all right, uh, it says, uh, give me a second here, thinking up, it's not coming up. Bear with me. I'm looking for Second Timothy, chapter three, verse one. It's like the wrong thing is coming up. I'm just, I think my app is acting up. Give me a second here. Um, Right. 
there we go. Um, the app was acting up. It says, uh, 2 Timothy 3 and verse 1. This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. Right, we're in trouble sometimes, man. If you look what's going on in the world, you have uh, uh, operas of the people in Bangladesh. Okay, I was just looking at a video just now. Um, I believe that was Africa. They have something going over there in Kenya. They have things going on over there in Venezuela. They have the UK right now. All right, you have uh, you have uh, what's going on between Israel and Iran. Okay, it's it's it's, it's a whole host of things, man. And the scriptures tell you Matthew chapter twenty-four verse twelve, because iniquity shall because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. You see, so it says Second Timothy chapter three and verse uh, two. It says, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, this 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 disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers. Incontinent, fierce, despises of those that are good. So if you're good, they despise you. Okay? It says, um, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures, more than lovers of the most high. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power there from such turn away. You got to turn away, man. Seek seek, seek those that are uh, such as thee. Those that are like-minded. Those that are seeking your heart by Shemya Shai. Because the scriptures say, uh, 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 walk circumspect, walk circumspectly, man. Okay, because because uh, uh, the days are evil, man. Let me grab that real quick, because um, this is the time that you're in. Uh, what's that? Uh, Ephesians. Let me grab that real quick. Um, Ephesians chapter five and verse fifteen. And it says, see then that you walk circumspectly, meaning to look around. Circum meaning to look around. Circumference, look around. Spec means to look. So look around, check your surroundings, be alert. All right, as the scripture say, uh, first uh, Peter chapter five and verse eight, uh, uh, be so will be vigilant for your adversary, the devil walking about as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour, okay? So it says, see then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. See, going back to the title of the lesson, okay? These are some evil times, man. We, we living in bad times right now. At any moment, something could pop off, man. You could see it, you could feel it. But it's all according to, according to scriptures because <laughs> that's what the scripture tell you. In a lot of days, perilous times shall come. We just read it, okay? Now, as I brought out to the spirit power of your heart by Shemir Shai, of course, Genesis chapter 6 and verse 5, I was, it was just evil continually. That's also reiterated for these times. Okay, when you go to the Apocrypha, all right, and you get a second, that's just the 15th chapter. Okay. Uh, second, that's just the 15th chapter. It says, verse 5, Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. Why? Verse 6, For wickedness had exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Just like in Genesis 6, right here in 2nd Ezra 15, chapter in verse 6, it says, For wickedness had exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Okay? The Lord said, verse 7, Therefore said the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit, neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. And, and therefore said the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Okay? So, it's prophesied that <laughs> these are some evil times, man. Bad times are gonna come in these times. And we're in it right now. We living in it, man. Everywhere you look is uproars of the people, man. And that's how you measure the time. It tells you that in second answers, uh the uh the ninth chapter. When and when they shall be seeing uproars of the people. You know? 
that's one of the signs that, that know that it is the very same time where the highest will begin to visit the world in which we may just roughly paraphrase it. So we in these times, man, these are part of the signs that the Lord left for us to know that his, 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 his return is pretty close. No man could put a, a, a time on it, but we know it, 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 it's close, man. Okay? So, uh, let's get our second Ezra. Uh, second Ezra, the 14th chapter, right? Uh, it says, I'm going to read verse 13. It says, Now, therefore, set thine house in order and reprove thy people. Okay? Those, those of you that seek in the Lord and want to repent, man, repent and turn to the Lord. That's the message, to repent, because we're living in evil times. Now, therefore, set thine house in order and reprove thy people, comfort such as them as be in trouble, and now renounce corruption. That's what you got to do, renounce corruption. Let go from the mortal thoughts, cast away the burdens of man, put off now the weak nature, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, and haste thee, to flee from these times. Point, verse 16. For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. Okay, verse 17. For look how much the world shall be weaker through age, so much the more shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein. So only uh, evil times coming, man. Bad times. Okay, uh, First Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 3 say, Okay, when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction coming upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape, man. Yahweh Shai said in Matthew chapter 24 and verse 8, These are just the beginning of sorrows. All right, uh, Second Ezra, the 15th chapter and the 17th verse, uh, the prophet Ezra says, Woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days? He saw. The, the, the trouble and the, the times that we enter into Jacob's trouble, Jeremiah 30 and 7, a time like never before, okay? So when you read Ezekiel, I'm getting ready to wrap it up. When you read Ezekiel, the, uh, the seventh chapter, it tells you how evil and only evil has come. Let me grab that uh, real quick. We're going to get ready to close. I'll, I'll pull out two precepts of Ezekiel, Ezekiel, the seventh chapter, uh, and then we can close out. This is Ezekiel chapter 7, right? Ezekiel chapter 7. Uh, we'll get straight to the point for time's sake. Uh, It says, uh, verse 5, Thus said the Lord power, An evil, and only evil, behold is come. An end is come. The end is come. It watcheth for thee. Behold, it is come. So we're living in that time. I'm going to jump down to verse 25. Okay? Verse 25, it says, Destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. Why? Because we just read it in verse 5. Okay? It says, Thus said the Lord, power and evil, and only evil, behold, is come. This is the time that we're in. Okay? Um, it's going to be, it, it's, 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 it's bad times, man. Okay? Now, the scriptures tell you, remember, the most high controls everything. All right? The scriptures tell you, Isaiah 45 and 7, I form the light, I create the darkness, I, the Lord, do all these things. All right? Uh, What's the next one? Uh, Amos chapter uh, Amos chapter three and verse six. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord had not done it? Okay. So at the end of the day, these things just go back to the judgments that the Lord is bringing, man. This is why it, it would behoove you to seek the Lord and repent and turn unto Him. Okay. So, yeah, man, we living in some evil times. I'm gonna end it there. Seek the Lord, turn to Him with your whole heart. And repent, all right? Giving all the glory and praise unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwit Dash. Number honest to the elders and apostles of great millstone that taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth and truth and in sincerity and in charity, risking their lives and the freedom to do so. 
with that until the next time shalom